A lot of people in the NRS community are upset with the state of Sector and Cyrax in Mortal Kombat 1. And to be honest, I'm equally as upset, though probably not for the same reasons most people are. Sector Cyrax wins. Ever since the data mine leak for DLC revealed that Sector and Cyrax were going to be women, the community have been whining, crying, moaning all about this change. I want to go through some of the more common arguments and then give my takes on each one. I don't like that their gender was changed. We all know that stories with multiple universes never have a gender bender character, right? MK may not have been the first to do this, but you'd think that they were the way the community reacted to this. Loki in Marvel has done this with less complaining. Earth-11 in DC has done this with less anger, and even SNK's Terry Bogard has done the same with less crying. This is a plot point many stories have adopted and is par for the course when it comes to stories with alternate universes. Why is it that when MK does it, it's the end of the world all of a sudden? I don't like all the DEI in Mortal Kombat now. DEI stands for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And if you think that MK has done this to check some sort of a diversity box, you haven't been paying attention. Mortal Kombat has checked that box decades ago. They went back to development to add Sonya to the first game to have more variety in the cast, and I believe had the first black female fighter in a fighting game with Mortal Kombat 2's Jade. You couldn't use her quite yet, but I believe she's the first black female fighter in any fighting game. MK has white characters, black characters, female characters, fat characters, I mean, you name it. MK has always had a diverse cast, so I'm sure this decision was done more to make the timeline feel more different and less about checking a diversity box. They should have just introduced new women characters instead of changing the genders of existing characters. I love this one because it isn't like the writers haven't tried this before. She may be beloved now, but I'm old enough to remember how people reacted to Frost in Deadly Alliance. They said it was lazy to just make a female Sub-Zero, and she was not universally liked. Ashra is only just now being liked. Back in the day, trust me, not so much. Remember Kira? Another new female character to the cast that didn't garner much love. But I hear you, I hear you. You're saying those characters weren't very powerful in the story, they didn't have major ties to existing characters, and ultimately, they didn't impact the story that much. I get it, it's easy not to like a character when they're somewhat insignificant, like these characters were. Enter Mortal Kombat X, and three characters that could win an award for most hated for no reason. Devora was a villain that was supposed to be detestable, and she was, to great effect, she was a fantastic villain. One in which you're not supposed to cheer what she's doing, but you're supposed to dislike what the character is doing, because she's a villain. Then there's Jackie and Cassie. Characters who were powerful, had connections to major players, and had a major impact in the story. And can you guess how these characters were perceived? And hey, 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 hey. People hate them to this day. Why does Cassie have to beat Shinnok? Why why can't why can't we do the same thing and have Liu Kang beat Shinnok? NRS just cannot win when it comes to female characters, it seems. Because it doesn't matter what they do with them. You just want Kitana and Melina to be the damsel in distress, you want them to shut up, and you want them to show more skin. And hey, if that's the case, I get it, that's your prerogative, no problem. I just don't understand why you're looking for that in a story-driven fighting game, though. It isn't about the gender swap. My favorite character is being changed in a way I don't like. This is just something that comes with alternate realities, or sometimes just sequels, really. However, it looks like from a gameplay perspective, the characters play very similar. Cyrax has a teleport, a trap, and bomb setups. Seems like Cyrax in every other game to me. It also seems like their personalities are very similar as well. 
Sector being the more cold loyalist to the clan, and Cyrax being more open to rebelling, and not really loyal to the clan, but loyal to the mission. The expansion doesn't come out until next month at the time I'm recording this, but the main components of the characters seem to be intact as far as I can tell. If one of these characters are your favorite character, it seems like they're gonna be very similar. I don't like that they're in Iron Man suits. This is gonna piggyback on what I said previously, but it's an alternate reality, one in which the ultimate good guy created. Everything in the story is less dark, and that's by design. So of course we weren't going to have the body horror of being Alex murphy into a robot body in this kind of a story. And what's the alternative, really? Did you just want to play the same story with the same origins and same motivations again? It's the same thing! Did you want to just relive the same plot points for the upteenth time? If I wanted that, all I had to do was search online for 2005 Mortal Kombat. If your answer is yes, I have good news for you. You can do just that. Just replay the old story modes of the old games. They still exist. You can still get that redundancy that it seems you crave so much. It's like missionary position every single night. Actually, Trevor Noah really said it best here. You know, every time one of these, like, internet outrage things happens about which character is being played by whom and people get angry, I would get it if people had good faith arguments, but you can tell that people are just using these moments to disguise a discriminatory idea and like, a, like you know, a racism that they hold. It's some, you know, it's, it's like, it's your thing. You know, people are gonna act like, oh no, the Little Mermaid, I'm here because I'm a Little Mermaid uh, purist. I uh, <laughs> can come up with all these bullshit answers. They'll be like, you, you know, you look at the history of the Little Mermaid. I, I'm sorry, the history of the Little Mermaid? You mean the imagination of the Little Mermaid? It never happened. It's, it's just, look, here's the thing. It's not about race, it's just about realism. I, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> And it's like, no, but the, but the Little Mermaid, she means so much. And I, I don't deny that. I don't deny that it must have been amazing for any redhead little girl to see the Little Mermaid. It must have been amazing. It's a beautiful experience. But the movie's still there. You get what I'm saying? It's not gone. You can't not watch it. It hasn't been burned. It is still there. You can still watch it and you can enjoy it. I do all the time. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's like, you get so angry. But what about the little girls with red hair who want, who want what? See themselves in what? A, a Disney? cartoon I'm like like you, are you being serious right now you, you 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 have the princess in brave she she was redhead remember her right you have um you have anna from from frozen right you have um the little kid from up remember the one like pulls off the helmet and like the hair does a thing it's the cutest thing ever, like <laughs> ah remember that red hairs well, there's tons tons of other characters there are more redhead disney like stars like women who are stars in the in the, in the franchise than black women. But now you're gonna make it seem like it's, and it's not like one should be against the other. There's no need. You have the Little Mermaid, it's fun. Now you've got Hattie Bay playing the real version of it. That's, that's fun. Don't make it about realism. It's, guys, it's under the sea. There's a crab. There's a crab that is gonna talk and you're worried about this element? <laughs> people are like, well, I just, I just think it should be. It's all the thing. And then, and then I love when people go, oh yeah, so if you don't care, then how would you feel if the Black Panther was played by a white guy? I'm like, well, the difference here is the Black Panther. Blackness is central to the character's identity. <laughs> like, literally, literally. You know what I mean? It's like, literally, that is the whole point of the thing. And by the way, if you're gonna bring a white guy who's gonna be like, Vibranium, bring him, I wanna see that guy. Bring, just for fun. <laughs> just bring that guy. <laughs> just for the fun of it. Let's see what happens. Well, there are many people who haven't seen themselves on screen. You're gonna get angry. You're gonna get angry because now somebody who's in a wheelchair is playing this role. You're gonna get angry because somebody who's black is now playing that role. You're gonna, it's, it's, the original is still there. There are many parts that are still out there. It's not like there is nothing left. It's not like there's one movie in the world and there's one story and this is the only way you can tell it. There are many, calm down. Or at the very least, the very least, we should get them to meet with Ursula and then she'd take their voices away. <laughs> Just be like, Until somebody kisses you, yeah, don't, don't come back. You ready? People are so angry, then to go touch grass, man. Look, if I were in the writer's room, would I make the choice of changing their genders? No, I wouldn't. 
But I also understand not everything is meant to appeal to me or to my demographic. It's like when people got upset in Endgame where all the female characters got together. Yes, it's silly, but so was the iconic shot of all the heroes getting together in the first Avengers. The thing is, the Endgame clip wasn't for me. It was for all the little girls and women watching the movie. And that is fine. If you have a woman in your life, wouldn't you want them to enjoy an aspect of the thing that you like? The writers can't throw them a bone and include something that doesn't 100% cater to your taste for just one moment? That's how I view Sector and Cyrax and MK1. They're not for me, but I'm sure they're for someone out there, perhaps someone who could see a little bit of themselves in the character. There are two characters out of 30 that will be available in September. Play another character or play another game. MK1 has so much wrong with it. The genders of two characters should be the last thing people are complaining about. But that's another video for another time. At the end of the day, whether it's the original version of Sector and Cyrax or this new version of Sector and Cyrax from MK1, none of these characters have a dick anyway, so what are people upset about? I go by Shin Fitz, and that's my opinion. If you got this far and you enjoyed the video, you can acknowledge me by hitting the like button. You can hit confirm that by hitting the subscribe button and joining literally millions of ShinFit subscribers. If you like fighting game content, there's a video on screen now that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. But more importantly than everything else, don't get beat up out there.